welcome to the Express Pay Knowledge Center. My name is Melissa Rogozinski, and I am the education and training expert at Systems East. I'm also the host of our video and podcast interviews. Today is Tuesday, August 28, 2018, and our guest again is Gary DeBase. As I mentioned before, Gary is an account representative for Express Pay Solution at Systems East. And we're here today to discuss what businesses really want with an e-payments provider. Hey, Gary, welcome back to the show. Hi, hi, Melissa. Glad to be back. Thank you. Um, so, Gary, as we were preparing for today's interview, we were talking a little bit about your background, and I think our audience should know a little bit about how your background has perpetuated through technology. You've seen technology change and grow. Talk to us a little bit about who Gary is. Well, that's a, that's a uh, thank you for letting me uh, explain a little bit about myself, really. Uh, I've been in sales for 34 years, and I got started uh, back in 1983 uh, when the IBM PC came out with a dual floppy, and then it went to the XT, 10 meg hard drive. What, what are you doing with all that memory? So I've seen evolution. Uh, I was there when Apple came out with the uh, 1984 uh, 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 the, uh, the advertisement on the, on the Super Bowl that was uh, that, that kind of shook the world up because it came out with that graphical user interface, but it really wasn't much technology at the time. Uh, and then I saw the evolution. I went to work for a, a company uh, called uh, Win It, and we sold. We were the first ones to sell digital cameras, and uh, they were actually in a analog format, and they had to have a digitized board to convert it. Back then, though, I mean, everybody was going to have a, uh, a a digital camera. I knew the way of film was going to be gone, but I didn't see it being on a smartphone. Okay, I have to admit that. So I've seen this evolution of technology now. I'm at a company that allows you to be able to accept uh, credit card, debit card, e-check payments online. And, and the beauty of this whole thing is just not from, from a computer, but it's also from the smartphone. And there's tremendous convenience for it. So um, this whole evolution of technology I've been involved in, and this is probably one of the, the best uh, positions I've been in because um, I've, I've, in sales, I, I like to tell people that uh, the perfect sale is all parties win. And all parties win here. It's just not... Uh, the merchant provider, but also the customer too, because of the convenience of this technology that it provides to everybody. So that's my background, and uh, very exciting to see technology move forward. And I know it's going to be a lot different t- ten years now than what it is today too. And using technology to do this interview to get the word out and help educate our consumers and our um, our resellers. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, in the first article that we did on the Knowledge Center, Jim Matino, our president, um, discussed eight reasons why businesses should offer an e-payment solution. Um, once a business has decided to offer the convenience of e-payments, what can an e-payments provider offer to make the next steps easier for a business? Well, it's real simple. What they, be able, they have to be able to provide is they have to provide a simple solution, okay? They have to provide a flexible solution and they have to be able to provide the convenience. And uh, the flexibility to me is the most important. It seems like everybody builds a product and then you have to do it the way they do it. They always have these limitations. So flexibility, when you're looking for technology, make sure you have tremendous flexibility because what you want to do today, you may not want to do tomorrow. Then we know technology is changing. So flexibility is really very, very important in the convenience. So simple, flexible, and convenient. Those three things you want to look for. So what are some challenges that you have seen or heard businesses complain about that could either cause them to not offer an e-payment solution or maybe to even change their e-payments provider? It gets back to being flexible. A lot of, a lot of the other providers are very rich. You have to do it their way or, or the highway, basically. So flexibility is the key uh, to uh, be able to utilize technology so they could customize to your particular needs. All right, well, you keep referring to the technology, so let's talk about that. Um, is, how does e-payments technology work, Gary? Is it complicated? We can make it complicated if we want to, okay? But we don't need to, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all out there on the web. Uh, with, the, with the technology, uh, since it's web-based, you don't have to download any app, so you don't have to, uh, uh, worry about downloading onto your computer and open up an application. Uh, it's just basically a, a click on a hyperlink, takes you to a secured site, and from there it's really simple, user-friendly to go ahead and make a payment. Um, then technology, uh, the, 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 uh, the merchant provider, if they want to offer online payments, uh, they don't have to invest in any hardware. Okay, it's all cloud-based. They don't have to worry about supporting the hardware. The customer's got the hardware. 
Uh, it's basically the customer makes a payment, they get notified the payment's been made, money's deposited into their account. It's very simple. And uh, if it wasn't simple, then it, it wouldn't have to be legitimate in the, uh, for, the, uh, for a legitimate product to sell uh, in the industry and uh, to resolve uh, problems with taking payments. But it's, it's very, very simple to use. So when you're talking to a business um, about offering new payments, what's, what are the first kinds of questions you usually ask them? First thing I like to ask them, do you have a website? And if they say yes, then I'm asking, can somebody go to your website and make a payment? Do you have a payment portal on your website? And you'd be surprised, 90% of the time, they don't have a payment portal on their website. And we could give them that capability so that somebody could go to their website 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's mobile friendly too, and it should be. Okay, most websites are now mobile friendly. So they can use their smartphone and they can go ahead and make a payment. So now they get to receive payments 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Customer gets emailed receipt. They can get email notified, text notified, or they could just run a report at any time to see when a payment's made. So that's the first question I ask. Do you have a website? If you have a website, and it's if you don't have a payment portal, people really expect to be able to go to your website today uh, to make that payment. Hey, you and I have both discussed some challenges that we've had um, in our own personal lives. I know you have an example of working with a dentist, and um, I have an example of working with an attorney on something I needed to pay a retainer. And, and even with the background I have in having been 24 years in law, I specialized in e-discovery. I did programs on how the law changed regarding technology and how to deal with it. And like having to give my credit card information over the phone is a bit of an issue because I don't know what they're doing with that if they are typing it into a system or if they're writing it down and there's a duplicate copy of my credit card information somewhere. I mean, these are security problems. So, um, you know, talk to us a little bit about that and again, how e payment technology can reduce and mitigate those kinds of concerns and risks. Absolutely. Um, just, just to get back to my dentist though real quick on that one. Uh, they do have a beautiful website. They do not have a payment portal. So now I got to call their office between eight and five, Monday through Thursday, because they're not open Friday. Okay, so I got 32 hours span. I could actually call and make a payment. And I work and I'm busy. Uh, so they're not providing me the convenience. If they had a payment portal on their site. I could go to their site. I could make the payment. And, uh, and I get emailed a receipt. So when I call the office, I got to take their five, 10 minutes of their time, it's taking their time. Those are soft hours that they're spending on taking that field phone call from me. And then I ask them afterwards if you, can, uh, if you can mail me a receipt. They mail me a receipt. So it's costing them money where they could have a simple payment portal on their website. And not only, not only uh, do they have the payment portal, it's the convenience for me, but then it gets into the PCI security compliance that you had mentioned. A lot of people today, we all know about Home Depot. We all know about Target, okay? People are, 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 are scared to hand over the credit card information. We have absolutely no idea who's on the other line, what they're going to do with it, okay? Uh, you go to a restaurant, you hand them your card. That's where most of the theft is, is through restaurants. Uh, they take those uh, cards, they sell that information to somebody else. We don't know what's going on. So we're giving the customer peace of mind to be able to pay at a secured site. Uh, also, the merchant provider is never gonna see the credit card information. They're never gonna handle the credit card information. So it takes their liability away. We take on the bulk, uh, the, the, it's, we take on the bulk of the security compliance since the customer never sees that particular information. So uh, that's the importance of it. So one of the most important reasons to offer e-payment solutions is just for protection of people's personal information. Correct. That and also for the convenience for the customer to make that payment at any time they want to uh, via the uh, web uh, and a smartphone too. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Gary, is there anything else that you would like to offer or discuss on um, what businesses want from any payments provider? Well, I just like kind of re uh, summarize here a little bit. Uh, basically what they should have is something that's simple, flexible, convenient that allows them to accept credit card, debit card payments via the web and uh, mobile 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Because this way here, the customer never has to, the merchants have to feel the phone call. Uh, 
the custom, and then their customer gets emailed a receipt immediately upon payment. They have a detailed record right down to the second. And also the merchant provider has the same detailed records and they can get email notified if they choose to or text notified. And, and the real key is this PCI security compliance issue. Uh, this relieves the merchant of the, not all of it, but the majority of the bulk of it. And also gives the customer the peace of mind too, uh, that they're at a secured site. Um, and then the other thing I like to talk about is that uh, the mention is that you don't have to buy any hardware. You don't have to support any hardware. Uh, the customer's got the hardware. You don't have to worry about the hardware going obsolete. So you're getting 21st century technology with no investment on the hardware side of it. And uh, then you also should have the flexibility of having the option of uh, being able to charge a site fee uh, so you could recover your credit card fees if you choose to. Excellent, excellent. Well, folks, that wraps up our time for today. I want to thank Gary DeBase for joining us again today and sharing his knowledge about what businesses want from any payments provider. If you have any questions or you want to get in touch with us, you can find our contact information at the end of this interview. Uh, thank you once again for being with us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time at the Express Pay Knowledge Center. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you have an idea you think we should discuss, leave it in a comment below.